For an estimated 35 million Americans, a trip to the dentist is cause for fear. But being groped by one of the technicians is usually not one of the things people are afraid of. Lisa Guerrero has the story of a number of women who were sexually assaulted while under anesthesia when visiting the dentist. Sexual assault can happen at any time to any woman, but in a dentist chair? It was a devastating experience. It happened when 24-year-old Valerie Oliva was still groggy from anesthesia after having her wisdom teeth pulled. In this video obtained by Inside Edition, she can be seen sitting in the dentist chair while the dental assistant, Luis Ramos, gropes her. It's a shocking betrayal. You don't expect to be sexually assaulted at the dentist's office. It's scary. It's just, it's so scary. Still disoriented from the anesthesia, Valerie is lifted by her bottom. Then she's placed in a wheelchair. This is the part that I remember the most, his bare hand on my breast. The dental assistant sticks his hands down her bra and fondles her. The shocking abuse took place here at Park Boulevard Oral Surgery and Dental Implant Center in San Diego, and Valerie was far from the only victim. Police say Ramos, the dental assistant, assaulted a dozen women ranging in age from 17 to 63. Attorney Jessica Pride says because they were under anesthesia, many of Ramos's victims didn't even know they were abused until police contacted them after viewing the footage. A woman under the influence of anesthesia, unable to say no, unable to defend for herself is the perfect victim for a sexual predator. Ramos worked for oral surgeon Dr. Stephen Podstrolany, who says he was shocked and outraged by what his cameras recorded. I had cameras installed for this kind of situation that I never thought would happen. At Ramos's sentencing, several patients gave gripping impact statements. I am disgusted to be sitting in a room with such a perverted, distorted, and sick person, I hope and pray that you suffer what you put so many of us through and that you wish you were never born. The dental office that employed Ramos says they fired him once they became aware of the abuse and fully cooperated with authorities. Ramos was sentenced to 15 years behind bars. By the way, experts say it's important for women to ask for a female chaperone when under anesthesia so they're not left alone and unsupervised. Mm -hmm.